everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be working more with our sprite object for Pygame. So, all right, we're going to now learn how to use the update method. So, we know how to build. Uh, we have a we have a group. We have know how to initialize a sprite. We know how to add a sprite. Now we're going to know learn how to update a sprite. So this is why it's so important to make sure that you have subscribed and hit the notification bell. And if these are the type of videos you like, go ahead and give them a thumbs up for me. So, okay, this is where we left off last time. We have a sprite object that appears on our screen and it's there. So now we need to learn how to update said sprite. And it's literally this simple. So one thing that I've been wanting to do, and I think this is the perfect place to do it. So we're going to merge how to take in our uh, mouse click position. And then I want to move the sprite to that position. So let's just go ahead and do it. And we're also going to utilize a new location, uh, the the rect center x. So it's going to be dead center of where we do it. So let's just let's just let's just get at it. Okay. So update, and this goes inside our our class. Update self. Close this out. Now, so we're just going to. Take what we learned about the event of a mouse click. So if event dot type equals pi game. Now that I know this is weird, but this is all caps. Mouse button down. We'll find out soon enough if I typed correctly. Caps lock off. All right. So now we understand that when we capture the mouse position, we get a tuple. So we're gonna make, we're gonna take, and we're gonna do, and the x is first. Click x and y equals pi game dot mouse dot get position, and then now this is where we're just gonna assign them self dot rect dot center x is click x and self dot rect dot center y helps if you do this correctly all right so what we're doing here is when this goes through the loop this object is sitting there waiting to update so every time it's going through the loop this is just doing it on the object so every time it clicks a mouse it picks up a mouse click has an event through the loop it's going to move just it's just going to do it so let's just run this and let's just look and see what happens so our I need to see, make sure you guys can see that. All right, let's put this right there. Boom, okay. So now, wherever I'm going to click, because right now this is sitting here at half the screen, boom, right on this. But now we're gonna do it, and we're gonna utilize our center X and center Y. And what did I do wrong? Let's see, let's close this. And uh, quit. There we go. Helps if you type everything correctly. So, all right, let's put this right there so we can see. So, boom, right dead in the middle. Look, right at the center. Boom, 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 boom. So, that is that and next time we're going to start creating more blocks so now each time we click 
we're going to click more. I don't know if we're going to do that one or look at control. I haven't decided yet, but it's going to be one of the two. So there we go. So super, super important. You're subscribing notification bell. So you're not missing out on any of these. So please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests down in the comments below. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching as always guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.